Welcome to what's new with the online terminal. In this tutorial, we're going to cover a couple of new features that have been added to the online terminal settings. This link is located at the very top of your online terminal screen. When you click on that, it opens up your online terminal settings. This is a way to customize your experience and use of the online terminal. Some new things that have been added to the online terminal settings is the set tax to report only. Basically what this is saying that right here you see in my grayed out area, you're going to put in your amount plus tax and then you're going to tell us how much tax you charge. This is for merchants who used to use the online terminal in this way, so it allows you to set that back to the way it was. Then you also have show order details below payment information. Again in the grayed out area you notice order details are the very first thing that pops up. Some merchants don't collect order details or don't want to input them. This allows you to move that section right below the payment information. So that way, whenever you come into the online terminal, first thing you're doing is inputting your amount, your credit card data, and you're out the door. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. We're going to say hide order details because if we're moving it down below, typically we're not using it. And you click on save and apply and then close. Give the online terminal a second to refresh. And then boom, you see we are automatically here with our payment information. For those of you who are not familiar, purchase card. Uh, this is for company cards and corporate level three cards. We're going to cover that next in this online terminal settings. What we want to do is go ahead and set this back so that our order details will pop up because purchase level three deals with that specific information. So if you're someone who deals with level 3 cards, you can say, I want my online terminal to be set up to handle those cards immediately. And it also allows you to preset information. For example, I sell one product, it comes in a pair, and I have specific information that's always the same. I can go ahead and input that data here, like the item SKU number, name, commodity code, which is important for level 3, a discount amount that I've applied to the product already. So in other words, I'm putting in $2 discount and after discount my price is $5. So go ahead and click on save and apply and then click on close. And you'll notice the online term is going to take just a second and once it refreshes it has this information ready for you to go. These are the new features to the online ter terminal. You can again always come in here, toggle these things on and off to get the customized experience that you want from the online terminal.